So what, what did you see Saturday? Was it just how you guys practiced and as far as the aggressive and how aggressive that you wanted to be? Yeah, I was really pleased with how hard the guys played. You know, they've done that since I got here, since I walked in the door in January. You know, these guys have really practiced hard and they went out and I was really proud of how hard they played. They really did. Uh, wasn't wasn't perfect by any stretch, but it never is. You know, games never go really as you plan. It's always, you know, dealing with the adversity that comes when it comes. Uh, but I really liked the way the game started. The guys went out, got a three and out. I think that was big for us, just a, a confidence booster, you know. So um, we had a pretty good stretch in there in the second quarter and, and got off the field and, and the offense kind of got rolling. So uh, I was really pleased with how hard the guys played. And the other thing I was really pleased with how well they tackled. You know, I thought we tackled extremely well. We didn't have a lot of missed tackles. And if you can, if you can tackle well, you usually eliminate big plays and you can get yourself off the field. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to get a comment on George's play. I think he had eight pressures. Yeah. Someone said that was the most by anybody in the country. Um, didn't get any sack, but was, was in the backfield. We did, not and when you came in and watched it on Sunday, you know, it's amazing how many times we hit him. Uh, you know, George was just relentless all night, and we had a, some other guys that were relentless. And But George, you know, that's kind of what I expected out of him. You know, that's the way he practices. That's the way he works. Uh, and he's very, very gifted at what he does when he rushes the passer. And, and all those plays, you know, I'm the one the one play that sticks out to me is the fourth down stop, you know, on fourth and one when 12 carried the ball. Like, I don't I don't remember seeing him get stopped last year. And George made an unbelievable play on, a, on just a just a hard-nosed, tough run play. I mean, the guy the guy played really extremely well and was really proud of, of, of him. This Trice's fourth down, bat down of that pass. And just yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, uh, that was, you know, that was a good call on their part. You know, that happened to us at Marshall uh, last year on a fourth and short like that. Man, they, those guys, you think they're going to run it and they pull out the play action pass, but Corey stayed right on it, uh, had good eye discipline and, and got behind it, but he didn't, he never panicked. And, you know, you talk to the guys about that all the time, you know, panicking at the end, and he, he didn't and made the play. So I was glad that happened. Jalen Graham, too, was another standout. Three PBUs, a strip sack, six tackles. I mean, he was all yeah. over the field. He's got to be a star for Yeah, him. he, you know, I was I was really proud of him. I, You know, because I haven't been around these guys, and Jalen's had a good camp and had a good spring and all those things, but how hard he played, I was really impressed with. And I was glad that he made a lot of play. Like, he, he, he could have had another sack, I thought, in the game, and but he sacked the quarterback, stripped the ball. Like he, he made a lot of plays for us, uh, and was really active and really played physical. I was really proud of how physical he played, and we'll need production out of him uh, as we move through the year, no question. You know, some of these, you know, Jeff talked in the offseason about getting the playmakers to shine mm -hmm. on defense. Are we, is that first game just kind of a, a small indication of what, what maybe you have there on the defense? Hopefully, side? I mean that's the, you know, we want all our guys, you know, just that that attitude of going to make the play. You know, um, we tell the guys all the time, uh, nobody ever wins afraid of losing, right? So you just want to have that attitude of let's go make the play, let's let's be aggressive with them, and don't worry about what happens. Let's just worry about what we can get done and make plays. And so hopefully. That's bleeding throughout our team, and, and we want our, our guys to do that. Did you feel like the, the rotations were good and that you guys were yeah. as fresh as you needed to be? Yeah, in the it's, a little, it's a little like taking five out of the game is not fun, right? You know, like, but he can't play every snap, uh, you know, so you got to make sure he is rested because uh, it's a long season and you know, you're trying to win the game. And so balancing the rotations always – always a you know you're walking that fine line like I didn't I didn't take six out of the game you know I didn't take Jalen out of the game but the way the game went early I felt okay about it because we didn't play a lot of snaps early so that's kind of the way you you keep track of you like okay we hadn't played a ton of snaps at the half and so um, it worked out okay and I, I thought it was what wasn't wasn't that hot and humid? I thought the guys were okay. Like you know, the guys on the sideline are like, yeah, they look, got a good look in their eyes. So you're always trying to monitor that and, and keep track of it. Um, but you do have to you have to get some other guys in there, no no doubt. What's the area of emphasis for this week? Uh, our attitude, like our attitude, like our daily attitude, right? Like it's a lot of controversy over there, right? Like it's just 
you know, stuff that's out of your control. But the one thing that is in our control is our attitude every day getting ready for this game and our attitude when we show up there. And that's what we've emphasized to our guys. Hey, look, we got we to gotta prepare like we've never prepared before. And we've got to have the right attitude when we show up in, in Hartford and, and, and play our game and, and play fast and play hard. And that's, that's, what, that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, defense gave up, you know, a handful of big plays uh, against Oregon State. Just what kind of goes into eliminating some of those against UConn? Yeah, we had a we had a couple of situations. We got we got beat on a double move late. Uh, Corey didn't like didn't like you know just kind of the situation. Probably didn't need to be that aggressive in that situation. Up a couple scores. Uh, didn't like that play. They got out on a on a through route early in the game on the first touchdown drive. Um, you know, but I tell the guys all the time, like they're going to make some plays, right? They give scholarships at Oregon State too, you know. So uh, they're like they have good players, and I thought their wideouts coming out of the game, I thought their wideouts were really fast. I mean, they they had good speed, uh, and I was I was impressed with them. So um, we want to try to eliminate those if we can, and, and but we understand who we're playing against as well. So they're probably going to make a couple plays. Uh, we just want to limit limit as many as we can. So. There were a couple of red zone turnovers. Obviously, that's a big momentum killer. What do you tell the defense right oh, after that? We just go play, right? Put the ball down. We just tell them, hey, put, we just put it down. We don't, we don't worry about what's happening. And we tell them all the time, you know, adversity's going to come. Like, he, he shows up every game, Mr. Adversity's in, in every game you play, right? So we know he's going to be there. And we just try to got to play our way through it and get momentum back on our side. And, and I thought the guys did a, a pretty good job of that. I was really pleased with how many times we gave the ball the offense on the plus side, you know, because your your opportunity of scoring is so much better when you when you have the short field, you know, your, your percentages go up. And so I thought the guys did a good job of turning the ball over, giving it back, you know, coming out defense is a big deal. We forced a three and out down there. You know, we, we make them punt, we give the ball the offense on the plus 45. Like th that usually results in points. So. We just we you know when our, if our offense turns it over, hey look, we go out there and play and and uh, you know deal with the situation. And, hey. Holy Cross ran a lot of blitzes and a lot of twist stunts, and the offensive line for UConn was not able to pick it up. I'm assuming that makes you really happy. Yeah, I thought Holy Cross played extremely well. I mean, they played really hard. Uh, their kids, like you, you could tell, like they were they were they were amped up for the game. They played extremely hard. They hit them with some good stuff. Uh, and so, you know, we've got to we got to make sure we take care of us and, and run our stuff and run it to, to execute it uh, really well and, and try to get them behind the chains and get off the field on third down. Are you taking some of Holy Cross's game plan and implementing? It yeah, you always yours? look at you always look at uh, what somebody else does. I, I really liked how hard Fresno played. Fresno played extremely hard against them, um, and so you always kind of look at what other people do against somebody and see if there's something that fits the way we call it or the way in our system. But you definitely do. 